if any of us as coaches go onto a playground or we go and watch the youngest players play, the first thing they do is all bunch together. That's the biggest sort of complaint or thing that we want to fix first. Guess what? That's called creating space as a principle of play. So have we got width? Have we got mobility? Have we got support? Do we always use those that terminology with younger players? Not necessarily. But the principles are still the same. The concepts of what we're trying to deliver are still the same. They may not be able to comprehend all of them and understand all of them and perform them at the youngest age groups, but still nothing wrong in referencing them for a later date as well. Obviously, once players reach 11 v 11, they should be hitting all attacking and defending principles. Your first thing is, as a coach is to check for that understanding. Not, do you understand? Because every player nods their head. No one says, no, I don't but check for understanding by letting them play, observing them, asking them to repeat back what they've done. And, and a big, the biggest one for me is don't tell me, show me, because these young people now are very, very clever in giving you the answers that you want verbally. This game isn't played in a conversation, the game's played out on the field. For me, biggest advocate for the principles of play, once players understand them, it actually gives them the freedom to be creative. Because now I understand, well, I want to penetrate, but that one's not on, that one might be on. OK, well, you make the decision, you're on the ball. And that's where we want to get to as, as coaches for our players. Once we, we, we feel confident that they understand those principles, then we can move on to another principle and start to connect everything. All within sort of giving players freedom to play and make decisions.